How are the piers of a sea bridge built underwater? It's truly amazing to think that a pier can be built underwater and still support such a massive weight. In fact, engineers also find it challenging. That's why the initial solution is to drain the water from the construction area, creating a dry environment as if it were on land. This method is known as the cofferdam technique, where a temporary structure is used to block water from entering the construction site. In many cases, cofferdams are made of soil, forming a kind of reservoir. Then, the water inside is pumped out, allowing construction to proceed. However, since soil is not completely waterproof, water keeps seeping in, so continuous pumping is necessary. Moreover, because the soil is not compacted, it has low strength and may collapse due to the surrounding water pressure. For this reason, soil cofferdams are only suitable for shallow water and areas with weak currents. In more challenging situations, we use other types of cofferdams, such as those made of steel plates. The main goal is always to keep the water out so that construction can proceed. Since these structures are temporary, they are removed once the project is completed. Besides cofferdams, there is another technique called the caisson method. Initially, a caisson was simply a large steel cylinder inserted into the water. Workers would ex excavate the soil inside the cylinder until they reached a firm rock or soil layer. Then, the cylinder was filled with concrete. However, this method was very dangerous because the high external water pressure could cause infiltration from the bottom, and in the worst case, the entire structure could suddenly flood. To solve this issue, engineers developed a pressurized caisson, which has a sealed top. It works like an upside-down cup submerged in water, but with compressed air injected inside to balance the external water pressure. However, the high pressure inside the caisson can cause health problems for workers, such as decompression sickness. With technological advancements, the goal is to minimize the need for people to work in these hazardous conditions. When constructing in even deeper waters, such as depths of dozens of meters, we use a safer method. A steel cylinder is driven into the seabed and a drill is used to reach the solid rock or soil layer. Then, a steel reinforcement structure is inserted and concrete is poured from the bottom up, pushing the water out. These are the three main methods used to build ports, bridges, dams, and other underwater structures. If you learned something new from this video, don't forget to leave a like. See you in the next video. Bye.